that's very solemn because remember that the Khalifa who built it passed away. He's the founder in a way of this great Emirates, the seven states that constitute the Emirates. And he's a man with a vision. Today, everybody talks about UAE. Everybody talks about Dubai. Why? Abu Dhabi and all the other related cities that we visited, if you remember. Sarja, we visited, and many other places in, in this beautiful country. It was all because of that leadership. Seh Zaid. I think it's a household name in the Gambia too, because we have the Seh Zaid Eye Care Center, which is a regional center of excellence, where people operate on eyes and address eye problems of West Africa. And even beyond the source of West Africa, I know there are Congolese being trained in that center and many others. So we should be grateful to such a great man who has a vision, not just for his country, but a vision for the world. The Vice President and Minister of Women's Affairs, Dr. Aja El Sotunjai Sedi, shared her impressions about her recent visit to the United Arab Emirates. And we saw the beautiful minarets, the beautiful mosaic, and works of art, excellent works of art. You, you've seen the carpets, everything is wonderful, the biggest carpet in the world. So it's highly impressive. It reminds us of Taj Mahal, because you've seen, I mean, the, you've seen this pool there. It reminds us of even, we all have this vision of how Jannah looks like the world after, the next world. So all the, those explanations in the Holy Quran, in all our hadiths, in, in all our religious teachings, at least we see, we at least look at it in a worldly way and think that this is how it's going to look, at, to, to, to look like in the next world. So it was good that we visited the, the biggest mosque, because we are told, I think it's the third biggest in the world. We are told that after Makkah to Mukarram and Madinah to Munawara, you would count this one uh, as the third biggest. Yeah, if not, I think we've seen the blue mosque in Turkey. We vi I visited a lot of other mosques, but I think we are highly impressed as well of what, what this mosque has to show with regards to Islamic history. The mosque is the final resting place of the late Seh Zahir, who died in 2004 and was buried at the same site. Mama J, GRTS. Soma and SOI care centers recently took delivery of furniture, an assortment of medical items, and a vehicle from Site Savers International. Mumudu Jalo tells us more about the donation meant to complement government efforts at ensuring a healthy populace. By Site Savers to the Health Ministry, are earmarked for both Soma and SR Health Centers, with the only vehicle in the package also going to Soma. The latest consignment of medical items, like others, are intended to enhance access to healthcare delivery. It was a joyous moment for the Ministry of Health and Social Welfare as they gathered to receive this assortment of valuable medical items from Site Savers, an institution that has been at the forefront of healthcare promotion. The Minister of Health and Social Welfare, Dr. Omar C., the kind of the numerous support his ministry has enjoyed from site savers, and that the materials will be used for what they are meant for. As a cattle surgeon then, I was very happy to be associated with that. Well, I know the, how we struggled in the rural, poor, and hard to reach areas to make sure our health services are accessible to Gambians and non-Gambians alike. Um, we, we received this in, with great honor and pride. And uh, it's a very felt need and will put in great use. And I have no doubt that under the able leadership of the Honorable Minister and his ministry, uh, we will keep this momentum, the standards that are already here, which has made us to be number one in the sub-region mm -hmm. uh, in providing essential uh, eye service treatment to, to, to the public. Bala Musa Juf, the program manager at Site Seva said this intervention is part of their social responsibility, explaining how proud they were in extending the hand of support to the health sector. The Gambia's eye care program is renowned for being a peace center in the sub-region. This latest boost serves a pointer to ongoing efforts by a country seeking to realize quality and efficient results in health service delivery. Momori Jalo, GRTS News. Young people from across the African continent and Europe recently held an international camp under the ages of the Camp Africa. The string of activities lined up by organizers include a uh, carnival procession, but after that activity meant to expose the, the visitors to the Gambia's rich and diverse culture. The campus shared an evening meal. Winifred Hodibard has more. 
Gambia is the fourth of its kind by the Camp Africa team in the Gambia. The initiative started in 2007, and since then, the camp has been attracting people from different countries in Africa and abroad. This year's event commenced in January 27 and has been engaging in several activities meant to strengthen peace as well as promote culture and tourism of the Gambia. The latest activity held by a group of campers was this carnival as they moved from Westfield heading to traffic light all the way to Senegambia area. Their team encouraged cross-cultural dialogue and promote diversification in the tourism sector through a multifaceted program involving sporting, cultural, educational and community focused activities under the theme of responsible tourism. It was a move welcomed by many of the participants. Um, this is my first time to the Gambia and the first time being part of Camp Africa. Um, I'm a teacher from England and um, I've come to have a look at the program to see if I think I should bring pupils next year and I definitely want to bring pupils. Um, it was really good, it was a really fun atmosphere, uh, lots of singing, lots of dancing, lots of drumming. Um, and it felt really good to be part of that and dance with the students. And dance with the students. Okay, so we are expecting you again in the Gambia. You will see me January 2015. As the host of Camp Africa, uh, this is my second year attending the Camp Africa, 2013 and 2014. And I'm always, you know, I'm always satisfied. I'm always loving the environment because different country, people from different countries come together. And on, we don't only have fun in camp, but we always learn. We always learn morals. We always learn how to, you know, adapt other people's culture, other people's tradition. We learn a lot. And as young people uh, and young, as growing together, we also learn to live in other people's environment. For Alassane Adamu, head of the delegation from Niger, and Kajali Baji, also from Senegal, this move should be encouraged by all, and as it strengthens the peace among the youths beside promoting understanding and development. At the end of the carnival, the team of campers proceeded to the new land of Itog to lay the foundation stone. There, the head of the school, Tijan Nyang, and the Itog board chairman, Adamaba, applauded the move and thanked government for its support towards the acquisition of the land. These officials are, however, calling for support to help them build the desired structure for the ITOC school. The following night, the Camp Africa team were hosted to a gala dinner as part of their farewell towards the end of the camp. The dinner provided the participants from UK, Poland, Hong Kong, Japan, Benin, Senegal and several other countries a moment of reflection as they prepare their way back home. That since the inception of uh, Camp Africa, we have always been very optimistic that um, it's a product that is here to stay. And it is actually manifested over the years that since 2011, if my records have been right, um, every year you know, we have almost 100 participants. We have Gambians on the ground who are ready to turn around the tourism of the Gambia. We believe that tourism is not all about the peak and the great season. Tourism for the Gambia has to be an all-around destination. As part of the night, these people from various countries engage in a dancing competition by dividing themselves in three teams, Team Gambia, Team Senegal, and Team Britain. Team Senegal emerged victorious as winners of the fourth edition of Camp Africa Dancing Competition, followed by Team Gambia and Team Britain. Camp Africa is an initiative that continues to grow every year, attracting more people all over the world, and their officials are hoping that in the years to come, more participants will join them in their quest to promote peace and African culture. Reporting for GRTS News, I am Winifred Nicole Hodibat. From there, we'll take our first break. Stay tuned. Welcome back. The UN Security Council envoy has called for all inclusive dialogue and outlined the need to move faster on national reconciliation in Mali. Gerard Arod made